Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to produce a CCTV type effect in the Lightworks Video Editor. To produce an effect going from footage looking something like this, to something like this. Okay, so I've got some footage loaded into Lightworks at the moment, and I've got a timeline open to edit. The first thing we're going to do is take the colour out of the image. So we'll click on the Effects button, which opens up an Effects panel. We'll drop the selection down and go to Colour, and drop down, and I want Grayscale. Click Add, and you can see it's taken the colour out of the image. You can switch effects on and off using the little red button next to the effect. So if I click that button now, you can see the colour comes back. Click it back and it comes back on again. If you click the little arrow next to the effect, the box drops down and you get lots of controls you can use to control the effect in more detail. So I'm happy with the grayscale, and this little box down there shows that I've got one effect on that clip at the moment. The next thing I now want to do is add a bit of a colour tint to it. So I click Colour Tint from the Video Colour Selection, click Add, and I've got the colour tint. That's on at the moment, so we open the effect up, click on the little box, and I'll drag this colour down because I want a little bit of a blue tinge. There you go, happy with that. I can minimise that again. So we've now got a, cro uh, a monochrome effect with a bit of a blue tinge on top. The next thing I want to do is add a vignette. Now a vignette is a darkening around the edges, and I want to do this to simulate a sort of cheaper camera type lens. Now a vignette is not a native effect of Lightworks, but you can download it from the Lightworks forum from the link below. I've already done that, so if I click on my effects button here, and I go into Stylize, and scroll down to the bottom, I've got Vignette, and then I click Add, and now we open the effect up to configure it. And I think the amount is what I want to change. Whoops, drag that down a bit. And you can see that brings, if I go right down to the bottom, you can see it really darkens down. But probably around there. Kind of happy with that. I can now minimize that effect. The next thing I want to do is just enhance the contrast a little bit. So I shall go to Effects and Colors and add Color Correction. Oops, drag that back and click Add. Now I don't. It's already maximised the uh, controls for this effect. I don't want the balance. I don't want the tonal range. I want to in increase the contrast a little bit. There we go. And I'll take the gain down a little, darken it a little, just a touch. Minimise that. There we go. Now the next thing I want to do is make the image look a bit grungier. So I'm going to add a grain to that. Now again, the grain is not a native effects of Lightworks, but one you can download from the forum. So here's one I prepared earlier. Go to Stylize. That's where it puts the grain effect. Next page down, Grain, Add. Again, maximize the effect so we can look at the little controls. And the one I want to change here, I think, is add a bit of strength to the grain. Make the grain a bit bigger so we can see it. I'll add a little bit of blur so the grain's not too sharp either. You can play with these um, these controls until you're happy with the sort of effect you're looking for. That'll do me for the moment though. And the next thing I want to do now is add a little bit of a blur. The original footage for this was shot on a 720p camera. It was a bit too high res. So I'll go back to effects. Uh, Gaussian blur is the one I want. Click add. Maximize the effect and I'll turn that up to blur the image. That's made it a bit better. So I'm nearly there. The final thing I want to do now is make it look like an analog TV signal. Now I can't do that straight off in Lightworks, but what I've done, I've designed a little image in a graphics editor with a transparent background, which I want to overlay over the top of the image to make it look like horizontal scanning lines from a CRT tube. Um, to do that, I need to go to Effects again and this time it's going keying and it's an image key. Click add and you can see it's add, added two effects actually an image and a blend. So the first thing we want to do is maximize this, configure the effect 
and I'll choose the file. And this is the one I prepared earlier, the CCTV Lines PNG file. Now you can download the, this from my blog if you want. I've got the link below. Click OK and it puts it on. And that's too heavy at the moment. So this is where the second part of the uh, keying image comes in, is the blend function. So we'll drop this down so we can configure it. And at the blend at the moment, would you slide this down until you find an effect you're kind of happy with? That kind of works, I think. Happy with that. So there we go. That's the basic CCTV type effect in Lightworks, created by layering lots of separate effects together. You can switch any of these effects off if you want. For example, vignette to see what effect it might have. Or if you want to play with the uh, different configurations, maximize the effect select the control you want and play with it. So if you wanted the green tinge instead of the blue, that would be it. But I'll put it back to the blue because I kind of kind of like that. So now I've created the basic CCTV type effect. The last thing I want to do is add some time code boxes to the top of the image. You can do this by clicking on the cog symbol on the top of the edit and selecting the BITC panel. This brings a separate panel up and I can overlay text on the image. For example, if I go to edit text, I can select the edit name, highlight it, and I can select a different font if I want. Now That's a little bit small, so I can make it a little bit bigger by dragging it like that. And then I can move it up into the green box area here, which is the title safe area. And if I want to change the edit name, click on edit, and I can, let's say, call it Cam1. might be more appropriate for CCTV and then I can always put some time code in so if I select say primary time code for example here that brings some time code up again make it a little bit bigger drag it up to the top and there you have it and that gives a, a nice CCTV type effect so I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching